National Physique Committee Masters National will be on stage tomorrow in the bikini division. So um, my family came out with me and we drove over on Sunday and we will be here through Thursday during the day. And when you bring a family on a large trip, it can get very, very expensive to dine out for every meal. This hotel has provided us a breakfast option and we've chosen some foods from their options um, but we pretty much like to bring a good majority of our foods with us and then we do enjoy the local fare when we are in town maybe one meal a day like a dinner so I wanted to show how we brought food to eat and not necessarily fruits and vegetables and snacks I want to show you how we're cooking in a hotel room for six people and I'm going to be really honest with you and tell you that he is the cook of our family and the meal planner and the grocery shopper. So I have my husband Dan in the video because I basically wanted to do an interview because this really isn't my department necessarily, but I am a part of it and we do talk about what we are going to be serving the family and what is most ideal. Um, some of the foods that he's going to mention um, with regards to the meat, um, there's probably going to be some entry level and more optimal choices that you can choose from. So anything that you choose to cook at any time, obviously, if it's something you're putting in on a routine basis into your body, you just want to pay attention to specifically the quality of the meat. Um, you know, if it's, if it's a one-time event and you're dining out or it's an event, it's a meal you do at home or in the hotel from time to time, it's not going to make as big of an impact on your body as if it's something that you're ingesting on a daily basis. So consider the source of what you're eating and what I'm showing you today um, is, is likely maybe not at the top of my optimal list, but we're going to give you some I ideas on what you could cook in a hotel room. So, um, Dan, what uh, cooking utensils did you bring and what equipment did you purchase? So we brought our crock pot, uh, which we've had for a long time, and that's great for the hotel meal because we're going to use it for a dinner, uh, like we're going to do probably tomorrow, like a barbecue chicken. We'll put the chicken and barbecue sauce in there, let it cook all day, and be ready for us when we come back. Um, so we have the crock pot. Uh, we got a hot plate recently, so this is our second trip using the hot plate, and uh, that allows us to cook. Right now, we're cooking ahead. We're going to cook a couple rounds of, of sausage. We brought the sausage from home. It's not, uh, they were out of our uh, natural brand, organic brand, but we've got sausage cooking on the hot plate. Um, and we brought our own coffee percolator as well, because it's, well, we, we use a, do uh, you want to go into the coffee? Yeah, well, can you go ahead and bring the coffee percolator out? So we're going to put the brands that we use in the notes of the video. It's in the bathroom. Um, and just to give you ideas on our um, Amazon affiliate links. This is the coffee percolator that he's referencing. So I will go ahead and mention that we do drink Bulletproof coffee. And that is what we have chosen to bring with us. And once I we started drinking Bulletproof, you, you pretty much don't want to drink anything else because it, it's just um, no acidity. It's very, uh, we go decaf now because I just love the taste and my body feels a lot better. So um, we'll put that in the notes as well. This is the percolator. He's got the crock pot and then the hot plate. And then he's got a flat iron skillet and another what what else did you bring to cook on so we also brought the frying pan so we'll also we brought our own 90 10 beef uh, organic pasture fed so i'm going to cook that up next uh cook a couple pounds of that so we can keep that in the fridge and ready to go and then after the sausage is done we're going to make make our pancakes so we'll have that uh, as well with bringing our own ingredients and mixing that up on site and we try to avoid a lot of wheat in our family i live grain free and the kids are trying to evolve there. Um, so when we cook at home, we don't cook with wheat, and they use a coconut flour pancake or an almond flour, and we'll put that link to the recipes we've created also, in the notes as well. Also, oat flour and buckwheat. Oat, buckwheat, and almond is currently what we're using. Okay. Um, so 
additional ideas that they could use in the crock pot. So we also got a lean pole of sausage and did, uh, sausage and sauerkraut yesterday. That's an easy one because it's not really cooking. It's really just heating the products up. So that was nice. Um, we've done um, ribs. Uh, last time we were in the hotel all together, we did barbecue ribs. So we put those in the morning and it was ready for the night. Uh, you could do the same thing with like a pork tenderloin, uh, the chicken. You could do uh, roast, chuck roast oh, in there. Oh, stew. Any of those things. There's, there are a ton of recipes out there for crock pot, so it's not limiting when you're in the hotel. And you might ask, um, what did we buy this when we got here? We have a large igloo cooler. Um, Charlie, Charlie, my son, is our um, video, videographer. So we brought the cooler and um, we purchased a good majority of our food before we came. But then when we got into town, we went and got some of the additional items that were a little bit easier to buy once we got here. We do not travel with eggs. We do not travel with eggs. Good, good point. But so eggs would be an awesome idea or any kind of meat on the hot plate. And what else uh, have you, you've done pancakes, meat, eggs, what else? I mean, really, really the sky's the limit cooking in your room. It's all relative to the amount of time you want to put into it, the finances and um, either your access to food to where you are. And we happen to stay in a Holiday Inn Express, and this hotel has been excellent with surface area and having a little uh, kitchenette so with a microwave and refrigerator and a sink. So that's another thing to look for if you're going to be eating in your room because otherwise it could be kind of frustrating without those amenities. Um, is there anything else you wanted to add? No, I think that's it. You know, we bring all of our plates and silverware and those kind of things, so be prepared. Some cooking utensils as well, spatula, whisk, uh, mixing bowls, the other things that we have to bring, baking uh, powder, you know, for the pancakes. So just little things uh, to, to add on. So, you know, the reason that we do this and the reason we wanted to share uh, is twofold. You know, living with a family of six is quite expensive. So if we dine out, it can be a minimum of $50 per meal and as high as the option that we choose, and that can add up quickly for an extended stay. Um, additionally, we like to have control over our food, and um, now that my husband and I have evolved to this point in our fitness and wellness lifestyle, we used to be able to dine out a lot more frequently, but we would get home from the trip and just feel way off par, and so we saw it in our children as well. So as much as we can stay the rhythm of our food patterns, the better, and we just seem to accomplish a lot of goals long term, like I mentioned, financially and just from a wellness and just a mindful standpoint. But like I said, we do tend to look at the local fair. We searched yesterday and we, we ate at a farm to table restaurant in town, we're in Pittsburgh, and we do try to support locally with coffee shops gyms and restaurants and um, contribute to the community as well. So if you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you for watching. Oh, one more tip. Um, we do bring our uh, own water containers. We are really trying to evolve away from plastic. And back when I used to start ramping up my water intake, I would stop at a convenient mart or a grocery and purchase plastic gallon jugs to drink my water. I have since learned that food sitting in plastic containers can be an issue with our endocrine system from the BPA and the plastics. So I really try to pull my food sources away from plastic and that's a very, very challenging thing to do. With as much water as I do drink, we have evolved to storing our water in glass containers. So to travel at home, he went to the grocery and he purchased these Overwise, I think it was tea and lemonade. We either used or stored the product and now we have glass containers. When we do come into the hotel, you can either get filtered water at the breakfast station from the hotel or a lot of times down in the gym, they will have a water filtration system and then we just keep that filled up. And
and it has been a great way to eliminate our exposure to the plastics. So that is another tip. We're fed, we're hydrated, we're having a great time, and I hope this can be of benefit to you. Thanks for watching.